So, uh, so you select the first piece, you add a material, you name it. Select the lid, you name it. You select both, you export selection as an FBX. So you go all the way down, find the FBX export, and that should be. I'm gonna go to this folder called Substance, and I wanna name this uh, Barrel Two. I always do that two subs, so I know that this FBX is is flying towards that airport, not not somewhere else. Export, and then um, don't have Modbox on. I've been experiencing problems when I have Substance and Modbox at the same time open. I, I Substance doesn't work, so I'm gonna go to a um, Substance Painter and open this, and now I'm gonna import. I'm going to make a new one um, no. and select the FBX file. Open. And everything should be fine. Document resolution, we can change it anytime. Uh, okay. Here's the barrel. And remember now that when we're here, we can actually. Um, we can start. We we need to bake bake the maps first. So you can go and say bake. So we have these two objects, and we need to go and bake the textures. Bake textures for this one. I don't want a normal or an idea. I want an ambient occlusion curvature thickness, uh, and I'm gonna. Also, go ahead and bring this back here. Also, 2K. I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna bake them for 2K um, as as 2K textures. Bake. <coughs> so now this is almost done, and I'm going to start adding some fill layers first. So let's say um, I want the ambient occlusion to bake as a layer. I'm going to create a, a fill layer, and under the base color, I'm going to select the uh, ambient occlusion. So here's the ambient occlusion. You can see there's some sort of a. And um, let's go ahead and create another fill layer underneath the ambient occlusion. And the ambient occlusion, I'm going to just set it to like uh, multiply. So this layer here, so now I get like a little shadow from the ambient occlusion. This layer here, I wanted to have a dirt layer, like to add some edge wear. So this is going to be a uh, what color? Let's see, maybe like something like that. And I'm gonna add a black mask so that eliminates, like hide, hides everything for a second. Then I wanna create a generator inside the mask and in the generator I wanna I wanna go and find a generator and I'm gonna use um, let's see maybe the let's see what we have here um, this might be good so drag and drop the generator in here and uh, let's see what we get from that um, just in increase the contrast. It's not bad, right? You can do ma as many as you want, you know, like I can let me just do the level like Okay. Now I'm gonna do another fill layer. And again, I'm going to use, again, like a dark color, and maybe even like darker. And in this fill layer, I'm going to add another, before I do that, I'm going to add a black mask again, and then a generator. And I'm going to do like some sort of dirt pass for this guy. And here I have some dirt. So notice how the curvature map and the ambient occlusion map is actually helping 
assisting us to kind of create this random um, And now you can actually split the color. This is only like, you know, you can use this as a multiply map. And then go down to layer 1 and start painting this with, you know, some sort of texture. And you can, um, I'm not very good with substance. I'm like not fast. I'm, I haven't been using it as much. I'm just like, you know, kind of playing around with it. So, so I don't know how to make a color palette here yet. I'm just gonna figure that out soon. But uh, but it's really cool. Very nice. Kind of. Oh, well, you can actually just leave this open and then kind of. So you can do a lot of painting here. Another thing that I'm like um, a little bit... Oh, if you want to change the light also, remember, if you want to change the light in substance, you hold down the shift key and then you kind of change, you know, the direction. So if you want to paint here and you want to see what you're doing, actually, you know. So that's from, and then you can actually say, you know, um, export these textures to Maya and so forth. I mean, uh, you can export, um, let's make a fill layer underneath this layer. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna do like another multiply, and then I'm gonna create another layer. And in that layer, I'm gonna drop it all the way down. So this one down here. And I'm gonna just fill it with a color, just. Um, or maybe something like that. So that looks like a, an oil barrel. And now if I want to bake the textures and send them to Maya, very easy. I just need to go and say um, export all channels so not the lid, only the barrel. I worked only on the barrel, and I need all these channels. And I'm just gonna send a JPEG. And where is that? Where I'm gonna go again in my folder here. And name this barrel. Actually, it's gonna just export it here. Everything. It's gonna make its own con naming convention. Export. Okay. And go to Maya. Here's our barrel. Um, select, create a new material. I'm going to go ahead and create an MIA material X. Um, I can make it like a, maybe like a glossy finish, but a little bit. I can actually reduce the glossiness. I can make it more rough. And I can reduce uh, the glossiness and make it, you know, like that. And uh, now, under the color, I can bring that material that I, that texture that I made in substance. So here's the um, base color. Very cool. 
three very fast hits. And then this guy will have again a new material. I'm gonna make like an MI material X. Uh, and I'm gonna make a rubber. Now I get all these interesting looking props. Okay. 